My name is Giuseppe Lignano. And my name is uh, Ada Tolla, and we are the principals of Lotec, an architecture office based in New York uh, and Naples, Italy. The name Lotec comes from low technology. We work a lot through the upcycling of existing industrial objects. That's our obsession. I think that for me what is mostly interesting with color is not as much the idea that color can transform a space from smaller to bigger, but that it actually can really change it or deform it or, or attempt to make you question the space that you are in or that you're dealing with or make you more aware of the orthogonality or the lack of. When we design my apartment in London Terrace here in New York, uh, color was a very important thing. Uh, we, want, we needed two colors. One color that would complement what was there, and for that we chose Linen by Benjamin Moore, which is a non-white, a white that is a non-white, it's more neutral than a white, because white can be very, very sharp and, and strong. This is more like a cream color. Uh, and then we contrasted that with this uh, phenomenal color called Utah Sky by Benjamin Moore. Um, and the interesting anecdote about this is also that the apartment was then published very widely all over the world. And we started getting emails from France, from England, from, America, from here in the States, from Japan. Everybody, we always thought, oh, what are they going to ask? And everybody, the only question that they had is, what is that blue? What, what blue is that blue? In this uh, small space that we did for Van Allen Institute, uh, Van Allen Books, uh, here in New York City, where basically we were given a, a, a small room that the interesting thing of was, was almost a cube. And uh, sort of like the initial intention from our end was what if we divided with a diagonal plane and so we're left with these two parts of a cube. And then we colored that space exactly like that. We colored it half in yellow and half in grey. And in just through the act of color and then the division through a, a plane of steps that basically ended up being a space for sitting and reading books or uh, having meetings and conversation about architecture, public space, uh, uh, urban conditions and so on and so forth. But the space was really completely transformed and the perception of the space was completely transformed. And I think for us it was a very important um, acknowledgement of what one can do through the use of color. There's no risk in choosing a color, as long as one has courage to choose color. Not like half color, no color, almost color. I really think that uh, color is such an empowering thing.